We really appreciate you all. But let's go to the match. So Ganondorf is a character on Wi-Fi that's like, yo, man, he hits you three times, you die. Charizard's a character on Wi-Fi that's like, man, he hits you three times, you die. But he only hits you with the tippy of his tail. Uh, but Mooch is going Squirtle to start with. Uh, the default pick, I believe, for Pokemon Trainer. Devin, can you confirm if, uh, if it actually defaults to Squirtle? Yeah, or it starts to Squirtle. Or is it random? It starts to Squirtle. Okay, cool. Thank you. So we had the Squirtle pick. He changed it to Ivysaur when he got to mid percent. Understandable. Squirtle is made of paper. The, the little animal that's inside of a shell that's supposed to protect it is the lightest out of the bunch. So you gotta have the dog help you out. Oh, look at that dog. Look at his teeth. Just throwing out those vine whips. Those the those razor leaves and those vine whips. Sebastian doing a good job staying at mid range, trying to uh, to get Mooch do something laggy and a good air dodge and good timing on the up key to get back to the stage. Uh, Ivy scores a downer is huge, but you still gotta time it properly to get that hit in. Sebastian looking for the uh, Seabats, looking for the uh, the hit. Uh, I see why he's named Sebastian now. <laughs> Gandalf is kind of heavy, so Down Smash is coming across the stage. Ain't going to do the trick yet. But these are literally two heavy swinging at each other, looking for that hit. And that up air from Seabaz, taking the first stock. Mooch definitely seeing that uh, Squirtle probably wasn't going to do the job there. So he's now trying, he's relying on Ivysaur and Charizard. Like, at least for the, for, the, for the late part of the stock. Okay, very good camp from uh, from Mooch. You're allowed to go super low against Ganondorf as long as he doesn't have D. He wasn't expecting it, so he got the kill. And if Ganondorf does expect you to go low, he can always up you a little bit earlier and get that hit. And Mooch, uh, unfortunately, dashing away, not able to shield in time. Interesting use of the uh, of the F smash, but that costs him a lot of damage, dude. Ivysaur is everybody's favorite plant dog, getting punched in the face with the Hercules hook. Ganondorf ready to give you the... Uh, he's ready to discipline this dog. Oh, come on, this! Stop punching the dog in the head! That's all of it. animal abuse, dude. That's not cool. Mooch uh, starting to play a bit of a slower game, just waiting until he can get some kind of opening before he commits to anything. Unfortunately, not reacting fast enough to the Razor Leaf hitting, so he uh, takes a, a dash attack to the face. And Seabaz is doing a really good job of keeping him at arm's length. Barely recovering there. If he, was, if he did one wrong move, that was going to be the stop. You can see, like, uh, Seabass is looking for Mooch to make some kind of mistake, something that's going to give him, like, a lot of extra mileage. Oh, my goodness. He's been going for multiple of those up smash and S smash moves, but not one has landed yet, really. It's mostly been, uh, just, like, up airs and, like, aerials that have been getting Seabass's kills this hard. It's great parry to F smash. <laughs> the absolute. I don't even know what to say. Like, this is, like, the absolute coots between some men. Just like going all in on this. Oh, um, Mooch getting grabbed. A good tech to the other side that's really risky. Uh, the Gandalf reads that, that's 100%. Uh, it's incredibly dangerous. And then they're going to finish him. They're extremely strong, especially when fresh. And just like that, Zebes taking game one pretty, uh, pretty resoundingly. Gandorf and Air, an awesome tool at the ledge. It does, it covers a lot of space, it's pretty quick, and it catches jump super duper well.
All right, so uh, Seabass Band, Town and City, and Kalos. Uh, apparently, Mooch had a kill confirmed that missed multiples, at least he said. It happens. It's Wi Fi. It's Wi Fi. Remember, guys, when you're on Wi Fi, unless your kill confirm is super easy to land, you're probably going to mess it up. And uh, Mooch taking us to Yoshi's story. Interesting choice. Alright, yeah, so here we are on Yoshi's on Yoshi's uh, story. A really a pretty good pick overall for a uh, trainer. It gives them the platforms they need to uh, do some really scary stuff, especially when you're playing as a uh, as Ivy Store or Squirtle. Uh, not so much for Charizard. Charizard doesn't benefit a super bunch, a super a lot, but that doesn't matter when you're doing these kind of loops and you're getting this damage in, which is really what you need against uh, Ganondorf. Needs to save damage. When he hits you three times, you're gonna die. You gotta be careful though. You can't be taking those kind of risks, giving up stage control like that, unless you're sure you can cap your, get your opponent. Uh, uh, Ivysaur Vine Whip is kind of a really good move under the stage, but if your opponent realizes you're doing it a lot, they can get some okay punishes on you, not great punishes, unfortunately. And oh my goodness! Just. Oh, the absolute. Attitude on Seabass going for that up to punish the Flare Blitz. But Mooch getting a really good up smash out of Shield, uh, definitely kind of the bread and butter uh, Charizard. Whenever an opponent touches a Shield like that. Very good Lecture Cancels. Yep. Uh, back air, back air is uh, super duper big. And just like that, like the shoes on the other foot, Mooch with a really solid lead. Uh, Seabass has got to be really careful with how he plays this next part of this match. And just like that, another stock evaporated. Mooch barely surviving that uh, that nair right by the ledge. Again, is back throw going to be enough? I don't believe so. No, and mashing out even less so, but that wizard kick, cleaning it up. And, but uh, Seabass has got a huge deficit to make up. Mooch just has to play uh, really smart for like this next stock, and he's basically got this game in the bag. But if he drops combos like that, it's going to be a tough time. Oh, really good uh, up B combo to finish it off. And Seabass saving his jump, very smart, good job. Not falling for the roll immediately on grabbing the ledge. Oh, just barely rolling through that. And a sweet spot fight with almost finishing the match. Yeah, both of these are hitting each Oh my god, he did it again. He really tired it again. That up, that up, so. That, that, that up, so. What was that? What was all that, dude? <laughs> what was all that? What was that all about? <laughs> I, I have no, I have no words. All right, Solid Dog, uh, clutching it out. Good teamwork all around. Everybody did their part. Uh, Squirtle was cute. Uh, you saw it kills people, and Charizard uh, quadded in the back. So you know, everybody did a good job here. Everybody did great. That up to at the end was almost definitely a drop, uh, drop from the ledge up there. As some people have pointed out in the chat. Thank you, everybody. You wouldn't imagine like the uh, the absolute like. <laughs> yep. Ready? All right, so we're going to Battlefield. Interesting. Okay, that's an interesting choice to go to a triplat like that, especially when like a big part of it was the way that uh, a Squirtle we used to do damage. Uh, it's really hard to escape Squirtle combos on these platforms. It's really great at vertical chasing. And just like that, immediately we have like some, you know, some good combos. None of it really from uh, 
from the platform, though. Like that, Z Bass in not a great position, and Mooch's vine whip actually kind of screwed him over there because he got put over the stage and cost him 40 80 percent. Oh, great delay on the vine whip, and he managed to uh, punish Z Bass for overextending there. Oh, the Hercules hook almost coming in, but the I have no idea what to call that up there. That the perfect hit. See Pokemon Trainer kind of freaking out each time that uh, the Pokemon gets hit. Oh, she's so happy when she got the hit. Oh, and a missing for backer! <sighs> Bro, don't taunt. That wasn't intentional. And I will not believe that that was intentional that you did. That you misinputted. That you did a forward instead of a backer there. But that 100% worked out in your favor, so you know what? You're feeling yourself? Just go for it. It's all cool. I did not believe it for a second, though. <laughs> It definitely worked out in his favor, so you know I respect it. See, that's having a lot of uh, space to make up here. Oh, you went for that uh, the heavy, the heffy, heavy, heavy smash. But uh, Ivysaur's F smash is super disjointed, and that's really disappointing way for that to end. Oh well. Do I have Epo DQ in winners round three? Oh my god. Okay, what's going on here? There are some weird DQs in like early, in late bracket. Okay, what's going on with this? Alright, so let's see what we have as our next match. Uh, good job to. Good job to Mooch taking it. You know what? I'll have Mooch stay on. <laughs> 